y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I'm about to make a yummy e-lunch. I'm gonna wait for a few minutes, let everybody get on, comment hashtag lentils, and I'm gonna grab a few things and then we'll get started. Hope y'all are having a great day. It's Christmas Eve Eve. A client of mine just told me that her family calls it Christmas Adam because Adam came before Eve. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Tammy, how are you doing? Merry Christmas. I'm super excited to share this little idea with y'all. I want to find a certain recipe that I wanted to mention. I just gotta find it. Hey, Casey, Cassie. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Cindy. How are y'all? Oh, there it is. All right. Alright guys, I gotta grab one little thing out of my pantry. Okay, I couldn't find it. My daughter rearranged my pantry. Ah, Merry Christmas! Hey! Hey y'all! Hey! Alright, couple more things I gotta get. Some seasonings, but I'll just be right here. make a quick lentil soup. Um, onion and garlic powder. Well, I didn't mean to get chili. I got minced onion. Let me find my onion and garlic. My kids have got stuff shoved. Bless. Do y'all like lentils, friends? That took forever to get out. Do y'all like lentils? I love lentils. Let's see. Here's my salt. We also have stuff out because while this is heating up, I'm going to get started making some Christmas cracker toffee from Brianna Thomas. I'm not going to make that live with y'all. But, okay, so what we're doing is we are going to make a quick single-serve lentil soup, okay? So that's what I'm going to show y'all how to do. If you did my Mary and Bright class, if you've ever listened to anything I say, y'all gotta have carbs. Y'all have heard me say that. You've gotta have carbs, and it is so important to get those E's in, especially in the holiday season. So that's my tip. We've got to have carbs. They boost your serotonin, makes you happy. They nourish your adrenals, keeps your body going, and E stands for energizing. We need energy, right? So that's what we're about to have. So. Um, what we're going to do is use a few drive through Sioux products, kind of bouncing off of the lentil soup recipe in Trim Healthy Cookbook on page 89. So all I did for that is I kind of just looked at it and said, okay, this recipe has these certain ingredients. I'm going to choose which ones I want to mimic, and I'm going to do that. So first thing we've got is a pot, and I have a can of organic lentils. The ingredients are water, organic lentils, sea salt, and calcium chloride. Okay, that's what it is. Organic lentils from Walmart. I'm going to use not all of the can. <laughs> um, if I used all of the can, I think I would go over the carb count. Well, it'd be really close, but I don't ever use the whole can, and I just use it up. Actually, this one is kind of um, lacking here. I think this actually is a serving. Let's measure it. Let's measure it. I poured out a good bit of the juice. Yeah, it's about a cup. Okay, so the deal is a half cup is a serving. Half cup has 21 grams of carb minus three. So doing it's about a whole cup, that'd be 42 minus six. So we would still be under the 45 grams. So I'm just going to go with that. It's going to be fine. So I'm gonna do that entire can. All right, I did pour out a good bit of liquid. Okay, if you wanna keep the liquid, you can. It doesn't matter, that's just my preference. All right, now I have a can, this is, uh-oh. <laughs> I got it on my cookbook. This is canned chicken from Sam's. It was a big pack, okay? So this is the canned chicken and I am gonna pour the juice off of that. Let me open it up just a little bit more. Also, 
on these lentils, there's seven grams of protein. So that's nice. Okay, juice, <laughs> the water. Um, and this is chicken breast, meat, water, and salt. That's all the ingredients in this. This is very lean. Um, it says, that's my son, three ounces is 19 grams of protein. So I'm going to get a little bit of this out, not all of it, and I'm just eyeballing it. I used about half the container, okay? We'll use the rest of it for something else. All right, now I'm just going to use some chicken broth. This is some organic reduced sodium chicken broth from Walmart. Just going to eyeball for what I want. If you like a thicker, like a stew type thing, you might not put as much, and that's okay. Now we're going to use some seasonings. In this book, they also use some onions. I'm not going to worry about that. They do a little bit of black pepper. Just a little bit. A little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic powder. Just a little. This one doesn't have the little shaker thing it would do, so I had to be careful. And a little bit of onion powder. Whoops, wrong one. Wrong side. There we go. And I like minced onion flakes, so I'm going to put some in there. And then I'm going to get a big, huge handful of spinach. This is what I have. And I'm just going to put it on the top. And I'm going to put this on the stove with a lid on it. And I'm going to let it steam up. We're gonna let that sit over there and steam up. So lentils are wonderful for you. They are um, gentle on your blood sugar. If you have, this is a loaded, a loaded comment here, and um, I'm really because it is Christmas Eve Eve. Um, I am not gonna be able to spend time here answering everybody's questions. So research it for yourself. I'm not trying to be ugly, but if you or anyone you know has the MTHFR genetic mutation, Pearl has talked about that at length. You can search that in the main THM group, or if you've ever done coaching with me, um, there is some stuff that I've posted in groups before about it. Um, she has, Pearl has two podcasts dedicated to it. Right now, I don't remember the numbers. I'm sorry. But you can Google it. You can Google MTHFR. It's a genetic mutation. One of the main things um, on that mutation is that your body cannot, um, I'm trying to think what the word is, change folic acid to folate. So you need methylated folate, which is already done, it's already changed over for you if you're going to have like a supplement, or a wonderful source of folate naturally occurring in the world is our lentils and also spinach. So this is also something great for that. Helps great with detox, gives you a lot of B vitamins, fiber, lots of different things. That's just a few high points. There's a lot of other things that I could do. Oh, I forgot to put my nutritional yeast in. Oh well, I'll put that in last. So anyway, what I did is I just went with this idea of lentil soup. I was talking to a client this morning, and I was just telling her, if I make a huge pot of lentil soup, it takes my family forever to eat it. It's really not one of their favorites. That I usually have to pair it. I have to do something extra, and I'm a one-stop shop girl. I would rather make a big casserole, have a side salad and green beans, than make a lentil soup and also have to have sandwiches and fruit for them or different things like that. I don't know. It just seems like I'd, I'd rather do a casserole and two sides than a soup and a sandwich. It seems like a lot of extra work to me, <laughs> but it might not be. And if that's something you want to do, go for it. This is just my take on things, right? So anyway, making this single serve lentil soup for myself for my lunch today, I just wanted to share with y'all how I do it because it's so easy, especially since Walmart has the delicious um, organic canned lentils already soaked and cooked and ready to go. They just have to be heated through. So what I do is I just watch my pot and um, I just go check and I see how the spinach is doing. So we'll do that in a minute. Once again, the recipe that I used for this idea is from Trim Healthy Cookbook on page 89, Lentil Soup. And Trim Healthy Cookbook is this one. So in Trim Healthy Table, I believe there's another one. Let's just look it up real quick. Um, I'm a mom. Lentils, chicken sausage, and um, spinach soup. It's hearty lentil chicken sausage and spinach soup on page 84. And also Moroccan Trade Winds Trimmy Bisque has lentils in it. Let's see if Rashida has a recipe with lentils. I know there's a loaf, a lentil loaf. 
man worthy lentil loaf or something. Yeah, that's the only one. That's on page 160 in Trim Healthy Future. So there are different ways to get lentils in. This is just an easy one for me. Um, we added that canned chicken. I mean, this is no problem. Like, that really took no time. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what y'all are saying. Boom, boom, boom. And I have a little announcement, so don't leave yet. Hey, 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 Merry Christmas. Hello, hello. You like lentils? I do too. Love lentils, and my love was just reinforced by today's potty. Oh, yeah, she did talk. That was that was yesterday. She talked about that. I forgot. She sure did. I've only listened to half of the new one from, from today. Oh, from yesterday. This week, whatever. Y'all, my brain. I just made the cracker toffee, and I'm afraid it might have been a mistake, so I don't know how I'll be able to keep my fingers off of it. <laughs> did you put it in the, in the freezer? You've never seen canned lentils. So, it's above the... Um, all the other beans on the top shelf at my grocery store. That's where that is. Hey, Brittany. Getting you live and put you on the TV almost life size, and I don't need to hold my phone. Yay, Julie. Y'all are hilarious. Thanks, ever thought to just open a can to make lentil soup. Duh. Yeah, for real. And if you wanted to make a big pot, just, just use more cans. Very good. Okay, so I have a challenge that I'm about to drop, and I wanted to share it with y'all that are watching live, anybody watching the replay. It will be a 2022 challenge, 100 days, um, and we'll have a tracker and all the things for you guys. And at the end of the 100 days, there will be a um, evaluate, not evaluation, what am I trying to think about? A check-in um, that I will offer and to see if you completed it, there will be a prize. I'm not telling you what the prize is, though. It's going to be a surprise. It's a surprise prize, but there will be one after the 100 days. It will start January 1st, but I am offering the challenge information today, and you can just register any time between now and New Year's Eve, and we will start that challenge on January 1st. I am doing 100 days, 100% on plan. If I see somebody named Susan, hi, Susan, wants to say, well, my goal is to not eat any refined sugar for 100 days. Great. Ashley, she's right above Susan. Ashley's goal could be, I want my breakfast to be on plan for 100 days. It can be whatever you want your 100 days to be. It's whatever you want it to be, and you will fill that in when you do my little form. So the form is going to be your name in your email and what your goal is, and then it'll pop up with the tracker that you can print, and it'll also, if you miss that, there will be an email back up with a link to the image too. So that's it. And I'm so excited to share that with you guys. I love doing these challenges with you just to encourage you on your journey. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas, y'all. Bye.